Hello, Elsie. Good evening. Bienvenida, Elsie. Good evening. You sure? Um, how are you? ¿Cómo está, Elsie? Um, bien. Diego, cerra la puerta. Hello, Carlos. Good evening. Hi, Sarita. Welcome. Hi. Hello, hello. Good evening. Sara, hello, Sara. Good evening. Sara, hello. Good evening. Welcome. Carlos, hello. How are you? I'm fine. Hello, fine. How are and you? you? Excellent, guys. So you're fine. Todos estamos bien. <laughs> okay. So um, welcome. I'm welcome tired. Uh -huh. I'm tired. Tired. Okay. Posiblemente esté intermitente porque estoy haciendo una presentación de mi trabajo. Ok. Me voy a poner como oyente en esos momentos. Ok, Carlos. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. Okay, so I'm gonna start sharing my screen. Just give me one second. Buenas noches. Hello, good evening. How are you? How are you, Marvin? Welcome. Hi. How's everything, Marvin? Uh, ahora, ahora no voy a poder estar así como activar la pantalla, bueno, porque estoy en la computadora que no le sirve la cámara. Ah, okay. Okay, Marvin, but you're going to be active, right? Okay. So let's start. We're going to start uh, right now. We're going to open this. So just let me project that. So that's part of the manual. Wow. Hello, Yolanda, welcome. Hi, Douglas, welcome, Douglas. Hello, teacher. Sorry, <laughs> I'm here. Okay. Hi, teacher. Welcome. Welcome, guys. So I'm going to start sharing the screen. Just give me one second. I'm going to um, 
present that in a full screen size. So let me see. Okay, so let me know if you can see the full screen. Yeah, full screen. Yeah, se ven tamaño completo? Can you see that? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna start, guys. So yep. this is our class objective for today. We're gonna be talking about a new topic, but you're familiar with this. Uh, can you read the class objective, please, Douglas? Douglas, read the objective. Ask. Ask an application related to a specific place surrounding their workplace. Okay, so we're gonna cover two things today. We're gonna be talking about nouns and we're gonna be talking about there is and there are uh, with quantifiers. And at the end, uh, well, you're going to uh, give information related to the location of uh, where you work. Vamos a estar hablando un poquito de dos temas. But let me see, uh, we're going to start with the vocabulary that we have for today's class. It's store, store, store. So do you remember what a store is? What's store? Store. What's that? Do you remember store? Store. Uh-huh. Store. What's that? Como una, como una, como una tienda. Yeah. Una tienda. Mm -hmm. un, un local. Un local, una tienda. Okay. ATM, so what's that? What's that? ATM, ATM, do you use an ATM? Cajero automático. Un cajero automático, okay. Building, building, look at this. We have building, building. Edificio. Un edificio, un construcción. Recruitment center, recruitment center, a recruitment center. Ajá. Como de reclutamiento, oficina de trabajo. Yeah, you're right. And we have a training center. Training center. Do you have a training center uh, in the company? Training center? Yeah. Okay, yeah. training center. What's that? Training center? Un centro de? Una sala de capacitaciones. Una sala de capacitaciones. Okay, muy bien. Amusement park, amusement park. Amusement park. So when you go, uh, I don't know if you have visited some parks here in El Salvador. For example, it could be Sifco, I don't know, how do they call that? Or during uh, vacations, they uh, have some amusement parks here. Well, here, the government, I think. So. Amusement park. So let's see if we have some uh, pictures. Look at this. Amusement park is something like this, right? So can you see Parque that? Diversiones. Mm -hmm. So that is an amusement park. Amusement park, the, I, the ATM. So here you have the ATM. And we have some buildings, right? So do you know some stores in your city? Can you mention some, some stores? Can you mention some stores? For example, let's start. Uh, so Dollar City could be one a store. So do you Productive. know stores? Uh huh. Any other? Grand Dollar. <laughs> one dollar. One dollar. Yeah. Sarita, any other store? Do you know some? So, ¿quién conoce algunas? ¿Entiendes? Y Lufa. Ah, okay. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. I would say, yeah, Lufa. <laughs> okay, y Lufa. Um, any other store, Cindy? Prisma Moda. Prisma Moda, okay, Prisma Moda, okay. Prisma Moda. Okay, nice. Guys, do you all use an ATM or do you uh, use checks? So what do you use? Do you use ATMs, all of you? Or you go to the bank and then you uh, get the money that you need. Do you use ATM, uh, Carlos? Yes. 
Yeah, okay, Marvin. Yes, I am. Marita? No? Yes. Expensive? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the thing is that you have to pay uh, if you overuse that, right? Si lo utilizan demasiado, if you overuse that, you have to pay extra money, right? Is it true or false? Cierto or falso? So what do you think? Is that true or false? Marvin, Carlos, mm -hmm. you have to pay extra money if you overuse an ATM? Yes. Yes, okay. How much? How much? A dollar, I think. One dollar or how much? I don't know. I think that you're giving six times. Okay, uh, what are some common buildings around your workplace? Common buildings around your workplace. Common buildings. So what can we see? If I go to your workplace, what can I expect to find? So what can I find? So what can, can I find around, around your workplace? I don't know, for example, a cafeteria, I don't know, a restaurant. So give me ideas. So what are some common buildings around your workplace? ¿Cuáles son algunos edificios or places that I can find? Puedo encontrar ahí. So give me ideas. Sarita, uh, Carlos, Marvin, Cindy, uh, Douglas. Yolanda, Nikki. Okay. Uh, la Torre Cuscatlán. Okay, Torre Cuscatlán. What else? What else? Salvador del Mundo. Salvador del Mundo. La Campana, I would say. La Campana, Salvador del Mundo. Torre Futura. Okay, Torre Futura. What else? What are some common buildings? Carlos, some common buildings around your workplace? Or, I don't know, he's well, listening right now. Uh, Yolanda, Yolanda, how about you, Yolanda? For example, in my trabajo o afuera de mi trabajo? Outside, around, outside. Uh -huh. um, I don't know what to say. University. Okay, the university. A name, yeah. name of the university. Unicaes. Unicaes. Okay, Unicaes. Is there any other place? Hay otro lugar? So what yeah, else can we um, find? Unillantas, como reparación de llantas. Unillantas. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So you have to think about the places that are around your workplace because at the end, we're going to uh, create uh, like a paragraph at the end. So start thinking about this. Okay, empiezan a pensar a ver qué es lo que hay, ¿verdad? So I, I know that you have seen that and that you have noticed some buildings around your workplace. Pero ya todos se fijaron, ¿verdad? Lo que hay, ¿verdad? Probably. <laughs> Pero si somos despistados. <laughs> no. Okay. So let's see. Okay, do you know an amusement park in El Salvador or in another country? Amusement parks? I don't know. Here in El Salvador, Guatemala, USA. Miss, una pregunta, ¿y eso se refiere como un monumento o qué? Ah, no, amusement park es el parque de diversiones. Es ah. Park. Ajá, amusement park. Leyland Park, que viene acá. Ok. So, any other amusement park? Tour City. Tour City, I have no idea. Okay, so this is an amusement park. So we have some attractions. Mm. Okay, so an amusement park would be, well, let's see if you go to Disneyland, you will find an amusement park. Or, if, well, I don't know the names. So do you know any other? conoce algún otro? Amusement park? No? Antes era la Feria Internacional. Ah, okay. Here in El Salvador? Uh -huh. Toma. 
consume. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they are bring creating or doing something this year. No sé si todavía lo hacen. Lo hacen en la Don Rua o por ahí. No. Yo creo que no. Ya no. no. Oh. Okay. So... En el estadio. En el estadio. Mm -hmm. Creo Cuscatlán. que sí lo hacen, pero ya no es igual. En el Cuscatlán lo hacen. Uh -huh. okay. so, ¿El surf? That's too sad. Mm -hmm. Because it was like uh, near everybody, right? So now, look at this. We will start with the first topic, and we have uh, to discuss this. Identify countable and uncountable nouns. So we have two, time, two types or na of nouns in English. Countable and uncountable. And what, what do we mean with this? ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Tenemos dos tipos de sustantivos. Right? A noun, remember what is a noun, a place, an animal, or an object. Recordemos nada más la definición de sustantivo que era animal, lugar, objeto. So that's a noun. And we have two types of nouns. A countable and uncountable. Oh, let's see. Sarita, can you read the first definition? Countable nouns? Then you can call singular or plural. One apple, two apples, three apples. Apples, okay. Uncountable nouns, please, Marvin. Permita. No veo bien. Ah, okay, dice. Espera. Tres. Incountable, permítame que esté volado su trabajo. Okay, uncountable, uncountable. Ay. Uh, se me quedó trabada la computadora. Okay, Marvin, don't worry. Let's see. Uh, can you help us, please, Douglas? Uncountable. Think you can you come. They can be plural. Butter meat. Some nouns can be countable. Or contable, good in the meaning is different. Example, chocolate. Okay, nice. Thank you. So look at this. We're going to discuss a little bit about these uh, types of nouns. So remember, contable, something that you can count. So it means that it, it has a singular and it has a plural form. Quiere decir que tiene una forma singular y una forma plural. Example, one apple, two apples. So how do we know that it's countable? Because we add an S to the noun. ¿Cómo sabemos que es contable? Porque le podemos ir agregando lo, los números para identificar uno, dos, tres. O vamos agregando S. O depende, hay algunas reglas también que se siguen para hacer los cambios de los sustantivos. So you can add S to most of these nouns. Le vamos agregando S en la mayoría de esos sustantivos. Uncountable nouns, things you can count, and they can be plural, of course. Entonces tenemos incontables, so you cannot count that, so they don't have a plural form, no tienen una forma plural. Example, we have butter, la margarina, la mantequilla, meat, carne. Uh, some nouns can be countable or uncountable, but the meaning is different. Entonces también tenemos acá esta otra observación. Algunos sustantivos pueden tener las dos formas. ¿Cómo es eso? <clears throat> For example, chocolate. Okay, so how can I make chocolate a countable noun? ¿Cómo puedo hacer un sustantivo incontable, contable? Utilizando algo que se llama partitivos, que son unas frases que nosotros ocupamos para eh, diferenciar, para eh, hacerlos para hacerlos contables. The example, uh, if I say chocolate, chocolate, okay, solo la palabra chocolate es incontable. Okay, so now I can say a bar of chocolate. Ahora si yo digo una barra de chocolate, ya cambia el significado refiriéndome a una porción de. Uh, another word could be, um, okay, let me see. Okay, the word juice. Okay, tenemos otra palabra ahí, incontable, jugo. So that's uncountable, right? 
So I can say um, a glass of juice, for example, un vaso de jugo. So there is a small difference in the meaning, but you can make that countable. Entonces, meramente la palabra chocolate y jugo son incontables, pero con un cambio, con un partitivo, podemos hacerlas contables. Por ejemplo, una barra de chocolate, un vaso de eh, jugo. Entonces, tenemos que ir utilizando ese tipo de, de partitivos. Um, let's see, we have some more. And we're going to check some, uh, let me see, I'm going to share something else. I uh, brought something else for you related to this topic, and we're going to check uh, that meanings. Well, the definitions for these uh, countable and uncountable. So look at this. Uh, let me know if you can see the PDF. ¿Se ve ahí el PDF, chicos? Sí. Okay, perfect. So look at this. Uh, I'm going to need your help in order to read this. Most nouns have singular and plural forms. They are countable nouns. So look at this. This is what we discussed, lo que discutimos. La mayoría de los sustantivos tienen formas singulares y plurales. For example, one letter, two letters. Examples, there is a letter on the table for you. Hay una carta sobre la mesa para ti. There are letters on the table for you. Hay cartas sobre la mesa para ti. So we have a singular form. So do you remember we use there is? With a singular noun, recuerden ahí lo que veíamos el día de ayer. There is, ya lo vamos a tocar un poquito más adelante. There is y there are. With an uncountable noun. With, I mean, with a countable singular noun. Miren, tenemos un sustantivo. Contable, pero forma singular. There are letters on the table for you. There are. So we have the structure, plural structure, plus um, noun in a plural form. Entonces, también hay ese paralelismo, right? Y si yo utilizo una estructura singular, también, es porque estoy hablando de, de just one noun, right? Estoy hablando solamente de, de una cosa. There is a letter on the table for you. There are letters on the table for you. So you have to have this clear. Hay que tener esa idea bien clara para no cometer el error, ¿verdad? De poner aquí, por ejemplo, if I had S here, que hubiese puesto acá lo, lo opuesto, right? There is letters or there is a letters so that's incorrect so we continue with the second a b can you help me with this marvin b some nouns some nouns only have one form they are incountable nouns okay so we have b check this this is the regla general Regamos s para hacer la forma plural so they are countable nouns B, some nouns only have one form. Entonces, algunos sustantivos solamente tienen una forma. They are uncountable nouns. Example, money. There is no money in my bank account. No hay dinero en mi cuenta de banco. Este no es un quantifier. Está indicando que hay cero. ¿Cuánta cantidad? Cero cantidad. So there is no money in my bank account. No hay dinero en, en mi cuenta de banco. There is a lot of money in my bank account. Hay mucho, right? Hay mucho dinero en mi cuenta de banco. So what we mean with this is that they only have one form. So I cannot say monies. Entonces, ¿qué pasa cuando tengo un sustantivo incontable? Un sustantivo que solamente tiene una forma. Podría decir esto. No, right? So that is incorrect. So they only have one, one. Mm -hmm. Entonces, solamente tienen una forma. And you have to be careful with that. También tenemos algunos sustantivos, uh, some irregular nouns. Let's say um, man. Look at this. Men. Okay. Mm -hmm. Woman. Women. Let's see. A child. Children. Children. Entonces, estos sustantivos entran en una categoría de irregular Irregular nouns, sustantivos irregulares, que quiere decir que su forma singular se escribe, su forma plural se escribe totalmente diferente de su forma singular. Entonces acá, singular, plural, ¿verdad? Woman, women, child, children. 
So that's uh, what you, uh, that's what we mean when we talk about regular nouns. Es lo que queremos decir cuando hablamos de sustantivos regulares, que su forma plural cambia totalmente de su forma singular. Y no agregamos S, porque tienen una escritura diferente. Ok, so now look at this. Uh, let me know if you have questions. Me avisan si tienen preguntas, chicos. So let's continue with the next example. Okay, so we have another case. See, many uncountable nouns refer to substances. So examples. Can you read examples, Sarita? Examples. Sí. Hola. Sí. Can you help us uh, reading letter C? Many. Many uncountable nouns refer, refer to substance. Examples. Uh, chocolate. Chocolate. Water. 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 Chocolate. Water. Chocolate. 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 So let chocolate. Me... Water. Okay. Coffee. Mm -hmm. Milk. Sugar. Salt. Cheese. Bread. Rice, 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 wool, rice, wool, glass, plastic, soap, toothpaste. Okay, thank you, Sarita. Uh, listen to this word. Chocolate. Chocolate. Sorry. Chocolate. 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 Can you repeat that? Chocolate. 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 Again, listen up. Chocolate. 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 That's all. Chocolate. chocolate. You won't say chocolate anymore, okay? Chocolate. 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 Okay. Chocolate. So don't forget that, please, okay? No, a little bit. Okay, so let's continue. We have chocolate, chocolate. water, chocolate. water. Ah, sorry, Sarita. Water. Water. Oh, water, water. No, que le iba a decir similar a chacleta. Uh -huh. Chocolate, chocolate, water. chocolate. Water, coffee, Chocolate. milk, sugar, sugar. Coffee, sugar. Milk, sugar. 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 Salt. Sugar. Cheese. Sugar. Cheese. Okay, so these, uh, well, some of these uh, nouns uh, are, well, these nouns are uncountable and they, some of them refer to substances. Algunos de ellos se refieren a sustancias. For example, chocolate, water, uh, chocolate, water, coffee, milk, sugar, salt, cheese, uh, bread, rice. Uh, well, I wouldn't consider this with wood as madera. Entonces, uh, so I think that they made a mistake. A glass, plastic, soap, and toothpaste. Entonces, quitaría estos tres. Estos eh, entrarían en la categoría de material, no de sustancias. A wood, a glass, and plastic entra en categoría de, de material. Sustantivos relacionados a, a material. And we have toothpaste. So that's a substance. Look at the examples. We have some questions. Do you have any chocolate? The milk is sour. La leche está agria. Okay, let's make cheese. Rice is only edible when it has been cooked. So I need you to notice something. Um, when you use uh, uncount an uncountable noun, you have to use the singular form for this noun. Entonces, cuando utilizamos sustantivos incontables, siempre vamos a utilizar forma singular del verbo to be. The milk is sour. That's my cheese. Rice is only. So I cannot say rice are, are, right? Entonces, ¿podría decir esto yo? 
No, so that's not possible. So that is incorrect. So you have to say rice is. Rice is delicious, for example. I don't know if you like rice. Chocolate. It's not okay. It's my favorite drink, for example. Okay. So keep in mind that you're going to use a singular form for a nouns which are uncountable. Entonces, con sustantivos incontables, utilizamos una forma singular eh, del verbo. Verbo to be is, right? So now look at this. We continue with the next part. The next part says, uh, can you help me? Can you help me with this part, please? Let's see. Okay, my friend. Uh, Nikki, Nikki, please help us with letter D. Letter D. Activate your microphone. It's off. Nikki, hello, Nikki. What are you? Okay, so look at this. D. Um, okay, many uncountable nouns refer to abstract ideas or emotions. También tenemos sustantivos que se refieren a ideas abstractas o emociones. Examples. Love, sadness, amor, tristeza, felicidad, happiness, education, knowledge, conocimiento, and grammar. So money can buy love. Money can buy love. We like to experience happiness. This education is priceless. Okay, so priceless means that it has not a, a monetary value. Quiere decir que tiene un valor monetario. Priceless. Okay. So let me know if you have questions. Ahí si tienen preguntas, chicos. No. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> Me recuerdan nada más compartirles el PDF. Ok. Al grupo. Ajá, uh -huh. so just remember me that, ok. Me recuerdan compartir eso. Ok, so letter E, look at this. We have E. You can use A or N with singular countable nouns. An umbrella, a will, a mistake. Utilizamos el artículo A or N con sustantivos contables. It's raining, so I need an umbrella. Okay, so that's basically what we say in Spanish. Necesito una sombrilla, ¿verdad? Necesito un, I don't know, a sweater. I necesito un sweater. So I made a mistake. Cometí un error. So this is a job for Superman. So un trabajo para Superman. <laughs> okay. Okay. So remember that we we use a, an article before a, some countable nouns, before the countable nouns. Uh, we continue with F. You can use plural countable nouns alone. Examples, apples, bees, and clouds. Entonces acá quiere decir que no necesita utilizar un artículo eh, singular, ¿verdad? Sino que aquí podría utilizar eh, el artículo da. There are, pero... Eh, Oh, neces no es necesario tampoco. So there are clouds in the sky. There are bees making honey. We eat apples for breakfast. Recuerden que el artículo da solo se utiliza cuando queremos re referirnos a algo que ya mencionamos anteriormente. Okay? Pero acá no es necesario que lo, que lo utilizamos. There are clouds in the sky. I so clouds. What is a cloud? Cloud. Hay nubes en el cielo hoy. So there are bees making honey. I, so bees in Spanish, bees, what's a bee? Mm -hmm. What's that? Hay abejitas, right? <laughs> and we eat apples for breakfast. So now we continue with the next one. G, you can use an article with an uncountable noun, okay? Time, sun, and electricity. Okay, we need electricity. Quiere decir que con los sustantivos incontables no utilizamos artículos. We need electricity to use in our heater. 
I lost track of time and we stayed up very late. The beaches in Brazil have very nice tent. Necesitamos electricidad para utilizar en nuestra calefacción. So the heater. I lost track of time. Perdí. I lost track of time and we stay up very late. No, perdí la noción del tiempo. Y nos quedamos levantados hasta bien tarde. The beaches in Brazil have very nice sun. Entonces, con sustantivos incontables, no utilizamos artículos. Um, ok. And, ok. So, the last part, it is very common in English to use some and any with plural nouns and uncountable nouns. Ya vamos a ver eso del some y el any más adelantito cuando veamos de is y there. Example, so we don't have any toys for the children. No tenemos any toys. Um, estos son llamados quantifiers. Any, no que veíamos más arribita cuando, cuando veíamos una oración afirmativa. There is, uh, okay, so I'm going to write one example. Voy a escribirles un ejemplo por acá. There is no time. Okay. Por ejemplo, no hay tiempo. Este no me está indicando una cantidad, cero, ¿verdad? There is, ok, una oración negativa. There is an any time. Entonces, podemos utilizar el no o el any para indicar una cantidad. Por eso quantifiers se refieren a cantidades. Puede ser mucho, puede ser poco, puede ser poquito, puede ser nada. Ese es el caso de, de, de este N. There is not any time. No hay nada de tiempo. Ya vamos a checar eso más adelante. Ok, so look at the examples that we have over here. Ok. So I know that's too much information. <laughs> There are many lessons in life. This is just one more. Hay muchas lecciones en la vida. This is just one more. Solamente una más. It is important to have some knowledge of grammar. Es muy importante tener algo de conocimiento de gramática. Algo de. So that's what we mean with some. Algo. Okay. And, okay, so just let me share. Yo les voy a compartir este PDF. Si se me olvida, me recuerdan. Porque acá está, para que ustedes lo puedan seguir estudiando, Está un, bueno, más que todo un resumen, todo lo que hemos visto ahí, todo lo que vimos en, anteriormente. Y acá, miren, pueden identificar. Uncountable nouns are often las categorías de los sustantivos incontables, o las, eh, o en qué podríamos clasificarlo, ¿verdad? Como abstract ideas, eh, substances, los, las sustancias made of smaller parts. Eh, también sustantivos que están hechos de partes como pequeñas, como sugar, rice, materials, los materiales que les mencionaba que <coughs> estaban en otra categoría donde no pertenecían. Eh, wood, glass, paper, gold, silver, ice, iron, cotton, wool, and steel. También tenemos eh, la categoría de comidas. Look at this. Bread, fish, cheese, chocolate, meat, bacon, food, and ham. And we have to be careful with uh, these uh, words. Uh, they are uncountable. Furniture, advice, work, news, information, luggage, and money. Tenemos que tener cuidado con estas palabritas, porque esas palabritas son sustantivos incontables. Furniture. Furniture refers to los muebles. Eso se refiere a furniture, advice, consejos, uh, work, and trabajo. Las noticias y la información. So, well, this is clear. Eso está bastante claro. But the rest, no, right? Luggage es el equipaje and money, right? Ok, so now let's go back. Ahora regresamos, chicos. Vamos a hacer una pequeña práctica. So let's see how well you do it. Okay. So look at this. Um, are these countable or uncountable? So I need your help. Chocolate. Is that countable or uncountable? Chocolate. Incontable. Contable or uncountable? Chocolate. Contable. You sure? Can say que pidan los demás. Chocolate. Contable or uncountable? Incontable. Okay. 
Yeah, you're right. Um, uh -huh. Uncountable. Apple, countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Okay. Cheese, is that countable or uncountable? Yes. Uncountable. 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 Mm -hmm. Uncountable. Recuerden que si los queremos hacer. Ah, ok, pero el queso sí puedo decir tanto. Un queso. De... Ah, ok, sí, a eso vamos. Puedo decir tantas libras de queso o una, una cura de queso. Entonces tenemos que utilizar un par de queso. Podría decir una rodaja de queso, a slice of cheese, para hacerlo con Pero ahí ya estoy definiendo qué, ¿verdad? Una rodaja de queso. A car, countable, or incountable. Car. Countable, right? Car, cars. Sugar. Countable. Countable. Sugar. Can I count the sugar? Uncountable. Uncountable. Okay. Diciendo que te empieza a mentira. Porque esto los tiene bastante volado. Okay, televisión. Okay. 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 Uh, television. What do you think? Television. Contable. Contable. Okay, so we can count the the, the TVs, right? Television. Mm, okay. Oil. How about oil? Incontable. Incontable. Uncountable. Uncountable. Oil. Incontable. Uncountable. 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 Yeah, you're right. Uncountable. Butter. How about butter? Mantequilla. Butter. Uncountable. Uncountable. Well done. Umbrella. Uh, Umbrella. Countable. Countable. Okay. Money. Uncountable. Money. Uncountable. Uncountable. Water. How about water? Uncountable. Uncountable. Okay. A friend. 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 Friends. Uh, one. One friend. <laughs> I have a lot of friends. Contable. Okay, book. Contable. Contable. Shoe. Contable. Zapato. Okay. Chicken. Uncountable. Uncountable. Okay, time. Countable. Uncountable. Time. Uncountable. It's uncountable. The word time is uncountable. Cup. This is a cup. Contable. 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 And how about the last one? What do you think about that one? Ham. Uh, I mean, jam. Contable. Mm -hmm. It's the same as chicken. It's uncountable. Lo mismo, que hay algunas comidas que son incontables. Las palabras, por ejemplo, el pollo, el jamón, that's uncountable. Pero recuerden que se puede hacer esto, ¿ok? Ok, so now we continue. We have, ok, so just let me open something else. And we're, ok. Okay, so now we continue with the second part. So in order to understand this expression, we need to know uh, we need to know about nouns and we need to understand 
de canta booleana en canta booleana. Entonces, para pasar acá, teníamos que ver esa parte que vimos anteriormente. So, look at this. Uh, Marvin, please, can you read the definition for there is and there are? And there is, there are. We use there is or there are to give new information about something that exists or something that is present. Okay, examples. In my bedroom, there is a television. In the living room, there are three archer, arch archers, chairs. <clears throat> chairs. There are four pictures in the dining room. In the garden, there are some flowers. There is, there is a car in the garage. In my house, there are two telephones. Okay, nice. So look at this. We have a singular form and we have a plural form. There is plural form, there are. How many televisions? One, right? There are three amateurs, three. Um, there are how many pictures? Four pictures, countable now, right? In the garden, there are some flowers. In el jardín hay algunas flores. So it's a plural, a countable noun. So you have to, uh, you have to identify that. There is a car, how many cars? One car, right? Singular form, one car. In my house, there are two telephones. Entonces, si ustedes notan, tiene relación la frase there is o there are va relacionada con el sustantivo singular o plural. Y aparte de eso, los sustantivos, acá no tenemos un ejemplo con un sustantivo incontable, pero ya lo, ya lo vamos a ver. Ok, um, let me see. I'm going to share something else with you. Ok. So we have another video. Yeah. So just let me open that. Okay. So can you see that? Can you see the ice creams? Can you see that? You see the ice cream? Ya se ve, chicos? Sí, ya se ve. Okay. So look at this. Can you help me reading that, please? Um, let's see. Carlos, I don't know. Are you here, Carlos? Eh, la disculpa, se estoy de, de oyente. Ah, ok. Estoy en otra actividad, solo estoy escuchando, gracias. Ok, Sarita, can you help us, please? We use, there is an... There are to say that something exists. Mm -hmm. So that's what we have been talking about. Some de lo que estamos hablando de la definición. Something that exists. Para hablar de existencia. So look at this. We're going to study the structures. Positive sentences. Oraciones afirmativas, right? So we use there is for singular and there are for plural. Examples. Singular a form. Singular and plural. Eh, Sarita, continue, please. There is one table in the classroom. There are three chairs in the classroom. Okay. There is a spider in the bus. There are many people at the bus stop. Okay, nice. So here you have the structure for a positive sentence. So it means you have to use the there is or there are plus what? So what follows? Plus plus a noun, right? Plus a noun. The plural noun, right? Plural noun. Plural noun. Okay. So um but Besides that, you can add a quantifier. También se puede incluir, acá si ustedes notan, there is a book, for example. Entonces, acá, este one, este three, este a, y este many, 
se llaman quantifiers porque nos está indicando una cantidad. Entonces también podemos incluir un quantifier. So it could be something like this. There is plus quantifier plus noun. Miren. There are plus quantifier plus noun. ¿Y para qué me sirven los quantifiers? Para indicar cantidad. Example, there is one table in the classroom. One. There are three chairs in the classroom. There is a spider in the bath. Es decir, que los números, los artículos y estas palabras como many, como much, como a lot, como, vamos a poner por acá, many, any, eh, no, let's see, eh, another one, some, some, a lot, ok, son algunos de los quantifiers que tenemos en inglés, hay más, entonces estos son algunos, y vamos, ya vamos a ver cuál es el uso de, de ellos, cuándo los utilizamos. Ok. So, but, uh, but I need you to check the examples. Pero bien, veamos los ejemplos que tenemos acá. There is one table. Look at this. Entonces también tenemos que los artículos, articles, ¿cuáles eran los artículos? A or N, ¿verdad? También, um, numbers, los números. También los números pueden ser quantifiers. Okay, so now we continue with some more examples. We also use there is with uncountable nouns. Y tenemos acá el apartado que there is solamente en este caso con los sustantivos incontables utilizamos there is. Okay, pero recuerden que there is puede ser con contable también, ¿verdad? Solamente que singular. Vamos a poner los dos ejemplos. There is a book. Hay un libro. Es un sustantivo contable. Ahora, there is milk. Hay leche. O there is juice. Okay, there is juice. Nótese que con un sustantivo incontable no podemos utilizar un artículo como a or. Por ejemplo, I cannot say there is a milk. No podría decir eso, there is milk. Podría utilizar otro quantifier como some. There is some milk. Hay algo de jugo. Algo de leche. Hay algo de jugo. There is some milk. There is some juice. There are some eggs in the fridge. Ajá. Solo que ser in the fridge. Solo que ese ex es sustantivo plural. Contable, perdón. Ah. Uh -huh. Entonces ahí ya lo cambió. There are some pero el sum, el sum soporta eso. There are some x. Entonces puede utilizarlo con, con sustantivos de, con contables de, o incontables. There are some x. Nada más acá, eso quería que, le, que, que lo notaran. Que pueden utilizar. Pueden utilizar este quantifier sum con sustantivos incontables. Okay? There is some milk. There is some juice. Pero no podemos utilizar pues, el artículo. There, are, there is a milk. Uh -huh. Porque no es un sustantivo contable. Entonces no, no podría hacer eso. Ok, so now look at this. We continue with the rest of the examples. There is some sugar on the table. There is ice cream on your shirt. Ice cream is uncountable. The word ice cream. Ok, there is ice cream on your shirt. Ok. Let me know if you have questions. Nice and nice, didn't questions. Okay, so we also use contractions. Remember that we uh, normally, it's really common to use contractions. So um, that's why we talk about this always, right? A contraction uh, of this, of uh, there is, is theirs. So it's pronounced, it's pronounced, okay, it's pronounced. If there's something like this, right? The contraction of there is, is there's, there's. There's a good song on the radio. There's only one chocolate left in the box. There's, there's. So that's the contraction for there is, it's there's, okay? 
for the plural form, we don't have a contraction. We just say there are, okay? There are, so just keep in mind that there are. So that's why you have to uh, pronounce, that's how you pronounce that there are, okay? Uh, let's see, look at the examples. Um, Fatima, can you read the examples? This one. There, there is, and then you continue there with is, There is, there is a good song. There's a good song on the radio. Radio, radio. Radio, radio. There's on, on like only, only one, only chocolate. one chocolate. chocolate left. Chocolates lay links in the book. In the box. In the book. Okay. So there's, there's, there's. There's, there's. Uh -huh. There's, okay. Better. There's. There's. Okay. And remember that you cannot contract there are. No podemos contraer there are. So we say, read it, please, Fatima. Read the examples. There are. They, there is nice. Come on the room. Okay, there are. The there are. The, they are on the fight with um, until. My, until my birthday. 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 Birth. Birthday. It's like birthday. a birth. Birthday. Birth. Birth. Birthday. birthday. Mm -hmm. So check that birthday. word. Birthday. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So now we continue with the negative form. So how do we construct the negative? Look at this. Seguimos con la parte negativa. Uh, the negative is formed by putting not after is or are. There is not a horse in the field. There are not a children in the field. There is not a tree in the garden. So the structure basically is this one. Um, there is plus not. Right. As not. Plus not. There are. Plus not. Contracted form isn't. Contracted form aren't. Aquí para la negativa sí tenemos una contracción. There isn't and there are. Una contracción con um, there are. Okay. There aren't. There isn't. There aren't. Okay, so look at the examples. There is not a horse in the fields. There are not eight children in the school. There is not a tree in the garden. There are not two elephants in the zoo. Okay, and remember that we almost uh, always use contractions when speaking. Okay, so here you have the negative contractions. Okay, lo que les estaba poniendo ahí, las contracciones negativas. Okay, there is not or there isn't. There are not, we don't have, okay, and you have these, there aren't, right? There's not, there isn't, there are not, there aren't. Aquí tenemos las dos posibles contracciones para there is not. Tenemos there is not and there isn't. Y para la forma negativa plural, there aren't. Okay. So now we're going to check the quantifier any. Ahora vamos a ver un poquito el quantifier any. Look at this. Mm, let's see, volunteer. Yolanda, can you help us with this, Yolanda? Oh, she's not here. Um, probably Nikki. Nikki, can you help us? But activate your microphone. There aren't with any. When we want to indicate that a zero quantity of something exists, we use there aren't any. There okay. aren't any people at the party. There aren't any trees in my street. Okay, look at this. Um, we're gonna check this quantifier, any with uh, aren't and with isn't. So when you want to indicate that a zero quantity of something exists, you're going to use any. Entonces, cuando vamos a indicar que existe cero cantidad de algo, utilizamos any. There aren't any people at the party. No hay nadie, right? So, no hay nadie. There aren't any trees in my street. No hay nada de árboles 
en la calle. Entonces, decimos, no hay nadie, no hay nada de. We also use this structure with uncountable nouns. There isn't any water. Look at this. No hay nada de agua en la piscina. There isn't any sugar in my coffee. No hay, no tiene nada de azúcar. Podríamos interpretarlo en español, ¿verdad? O no hay nada de eso, queremos decirlo un poco más literal. Ok, entonces, any represents a zero quantity with a negative form in a question form. Entonces, con oraciones negativas o preguntas, vamos a utilizar any para indicar cero cantidad o... Eh, en el caso que fueran preguntas, en caso que sean preguntas, indica eh, la posibil una posibilidad, pero una posibilidad negativa, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, yo puedo preguntar, ¿is there, is there any sugar? Hay algo de azúcar, pero probablemente no hay nada, right Sin embargo, preguntamos, ¿is there any sugar? Is there any sugar for my coffee? Okay. Hay algo de azúcar para mi café, any? So, but the, probably the answer would be yes or no, but the um, connotation is negative. La connotación es negativa. Sin embargo, con preguntas y con oraciones negativas, utilizamos any, okay? Any, and you can also use, okay, look at this. Uh, any with a countable and uncountable nouns. Entonces puede ser aplicado con oraciones eh, donde el sustantivo sea contable o incontable. Okay. So now look at the questions. Look at the questions. Entonces acá, any con oraciones negativas y preguntas. Questions. Uh, help us. Uh, Nikki, please continue with the questions. To form a question, we place is, are in front of there. Again, we use any with plural, uh, sorry. Questions are those which use uncountable nouns. We also use there is, are in short, in short answers. Okay, so look at this. Uh, in order to make the questions, the structure that you use is that you invert is, in there, so you place is at the beginning, then you are there, or are at the beginning, then you are there, is there, or are there, plus what is there? A noun, okay. Are there plus a noun, right? Look at the examples, and you need to add a question mark, okay? You add a question mark. Is there a dog in the supermarket? No, there isn't. Are there any dogs in the park? Estas también son yes, no questions. También son yes, no questions. So the answer will be yes or no, right? Is there a dog in the supermarket? Hay un perro en el supermercado? No, there isn't. Are there any dogs in the park? Yes, there are. Okay. Y también noten que puedo utilizar el any con las preguntas. So we normally use any with questions and with the um, negatives. Okay, is there a security guard in the shop? So you can also use a, ah, right? Vamos a utilizar los artículos. Are there any polar bears in the Antarctica? No, there aren't. Is there any ice cream in the freezer? Yes, there is, okay. And just to conclude, we're gonna check the following part. How many with are there? If we want to find out the number of objects that exist, we use how many in the following form. Look at this, how many plus plural plus are there plus a complement. How many dogs are there in the park? So when you want to know about quantity, how many dogs are in the park? Give me one example, one idea. There are. Two dogs, for example. How many students are there in your class? There are? There is. Uh, students, plural. 
Mm -hmm. There are, okay, so let's give an example. There are five students. How many countries are there in South America? Do you know? Anybody? 10, 5, 20. No? Como 23. Okay, so I'm going to trust you. I don't know. There are 23 uh, countries, okay, that are 23. Ah, Entonces, acá noten que acá con las yes, no questions, solo damos una respuesta de yes, there is, yes, there are, no, there aren't, no, there, no, there isn't. Acá con las open questions, ya probemos más información. How many dogs are in the park? Are there in the park? Y noten acá la estructura, acá está la estructura. How many plus plural noun plus are there and the complement. There are 20 countries. How many uh, Star Wars films are there? Okay. ¿Cuántas películas hay? The Star Wars? I don't know. Probably five. <laughs> five films. Okay. So this is with uh, how many. Recuerden que esto lo utilizamos cuando queremos conocer el número de objetos que hay. ¿Cuántos? ¿Cuántos libros hay ahí? ¿Cuántos? I don't know, ¿cuántos limones hay en la refri? So, how many lemons are there in the fridge? So, when you want to know about that. And you also have how much. También tenemos la otra parte utilizando how much for uncountable nouns. Y también tenemos la otra parte de how much con sustantivos incontables. Plus is there. How much oil is, is there? So, let me write that. It's, there is a mistake. How much oil is there in the bottle? Okay. How much a juice is there? Okay, cuánto jugo hay, right? So, but you're referring to the quantity. And you can use a quantifier. There is some, hay algo. There is a lot of juice. Hay mucho jugo. There is uh, some. There isn't any juice left. No ha quedado nada de jugo. No hay nada de. También podemos utilizar any con una negativa. Okay, so now let's go to the practice and we're gonna work on these activities so just let me open so that was too much so now questions questions one by one let's see look at this number one so i need you to choose the reason there are for each sentence so i'm gonna send you the link and you can uh, write it down okay for a moment please okay so there you go. So click to hear the vocabulary. We have a door. Okay, door. Ah, yeah, it's wardrobe. Working. Basket. Teddy. Blocks. Car. Carpet. Robots. Blanket. Curtain. Window. Books. Shelf. Lamp. Bed, pillow, bedside table, balls, train. Okay, so now that we have Carpet. checked. So you have to select. I have sent you the worksheet. Ya les compartí el enlace, so just open it and then you choose there is or there are for each sentence, okay? So you're going to have two minutes, two or three minutes. Okay, tres minutos para que la completemos. So you have to look at the picture and then you decide if there is or there are. Okay? Pues van decidiendo cuál de las dos. Okay, so do you have the link? ¿Todos tienen el link? There are. 
Okay. So go ahead, go ahead. So you have uh, some minutes. Ahí. Otra vez les comparto el enlace. ¿Qué pasó? No, haré. Okay, Nikki, well done. Okay, nos comparten la captura en el grupo. Denis tiene problemas. Ok. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do it. Um, number one, number one. What do you have for number one? Number one, Fatima, what do you have? Or Sarita, what do you have for number one? There are. Uh -huh. There are two robots on the floor. Okay, number two, number two, volunteer, Marvin, number there two. Is. There is. There is. There is. Okay, number three, what do you have, guys? Number three? There is. There is. Okay, number four? There are. There are. Perfect, number five? There is. There is. Number six? There are. There are. Number seven? There, there. are. There are. there are uh -huh, there are seven blocks on the there floor. Is. Um there eight. is there is perfect. Well done. Uh -huh. Let's see. Well done. Congratulations. So we continue with this. Look at this. In here you have some questions. So you have uh, yeah, questions, affirmatives, and yes, well, you are. have a lot of things. 
So now you're going to work in pairs and you're going to decide uh, in the breakout rooms which option is the correct one, okay? So I'm gonna send you the link. So copy the link. Okay, Sara, well done, welcome. So look at this, there you have the link. So I'm gonna create the breakout room and you have to select there is or there are. And if you have a question, you have to select is there or are there, okay? So let's see, let's do it. Break our rooms, they're gonna work in pairs, okay? In pairs or groups of three. So join the break of rooms, join the break of rooms. Ahí les comparto el enlace. Pueden puede mandar la, la fotillita. Ok. Bueno. De acuerdo, ya se los mando. Ok. Gracias. Okay, me avisan si alguien que no recibió invitación. Okay, Ileana, Eduardo, Yolanda, me dicen chicos. Okay, Fran. Voy manejando, teacher, y no voy viendo el teléfono, solo lo voy escuchando. Ok, de acuerdo. Gracias, Eduardo. Sarita, le apareció invitación. Sarita, Sara. Me avisan, chicas, para no dejarles afuera. No me apareció. No le apareció. Ok, ahorita él sí. Ahí va. Sarita, me avisa, Sarita.
La ocho le quita el Hola. En la, quiero ver, en la ocho le quedó there is. A there her. is. Ok. La nueve. There is. There is. There is a window in the kitchen. And, sí. Eh, en la diez es, are there any booklets on the bus? Sí. Ok. There, there is, sería en la once. Once, rubber, sí, there on the books. Is there a rubber on the books? Yeah. Are, are there glaze on the table? ¿A cuál es? La 13. Are there no. la 14? Um, la 14. There is an apple in the school bag. Sí. There is una manzana. And in water. ¿Hay algo de agua en el vaso? Ahí sería are there. Are there 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 are En la dieciséis, la sería la de Aren, la quince, yo creo, la... there is there, is there, la quince is there, okay. la diecisiete, there is. Espérame. Sí. Vamos a ver. La 18. There aren't. There Hello guys, welcome back. Let's see, what do you have? Okay, number one. So what do you have for number one? Number one, so can you tell me what do you have? Nikki, what do you have for number one? There are. Okay, there are. Number two, what do you have guys? Yolanda, Fran. Are there. Okay, are there? Okay, so let's wait for the rest. They're still in the breakout rooms. So you can see. Okay, so let's wait for the rest. Fran, hello, Fran. Howdy. Howdy. I'm a floor. Number three? Sí. Which one, A or B? B, okay, are there number four, Fatima, number four? Activate your microphone. I can hear you. No se escucha. Sarita, what are you? They are. There are. There are. There are. Number five? There are. Draw, draw. Is there? Is there? Are, mm, number five. Are, number four. Are, are there? Are there? Are there? Are there? Six. There is. There is. is. There is. Okay. Number seven. 
Is there? Is, is there? there? Okay, number eight. There is. There, there, is. there is. is. Okay. There is a fridge. Okay, number nine. There is. There is. There is. There is a window in the kitchen. Number ten. Are there? Are there? Some okay. Are there any pupils on the bus? Perdón, pupils. Pupils, ¿qué es? Pupilos, estudiantes. Pupilos. Pupilos. Ajá, estudiantes. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Eleven, eleven. There are five there eggs. Are five eggs. Twelve. Is there? Is there a rubber on the books? Rubber. Ok. Thirteen, thirteen. Are there? Okay, are there glasses on the table? 14. It is there. Is. 14. There is. 14. There is. They are. They is. There is. There is. There is. There is. Okay, 15. Is there? Is there any water in the glass? 16. There aren't. There aren't. Yeah, right. Okay, uh, 17. There is a lamp on my desk. There is. Okay. 18. There aren't five. Cushions. Cushions. Ajá, son estos. Son estos son los cushions. Cojines. Los cojines. 19. Is there. Is there. Is there, is there a doll in your room? 20. Are there? Are there toys in your uh okay in our living room? Twenty one. There, there is. is. There is and twenty two. There isn't. There isn't a pink bath in the bathroom. Okay. Twenty three. There there is. A radio on my uh, desk. Okay. Twenty four. There. Uh, there. Mm -hmm. Is there a mirror in the bathroom? Okay, so let's finish this and let's see how you got. But I was checking some of you and they were right. Mm, okay. Ah, are there any books? So, well, but that was okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it's time to practice. We have some speaking activities. Let's go back to the presentation and let's start okay so look at this so here you have a conversation between Alison Marcos okay and we're going to use quantifiers with um, the reason that are right so look at this here we have Alison is there any store near your workplace yes there are some stores Alison, is there any bank near your company? No, there isn't any bank. Are there restaurants near your company building? Yes, there are a lot of restaurants. Are there drugstores near your workplace? No, there aren't drugstores near my workplace. So we're going to read that conversation together and then you're going to practice. Okay, Nikki, help me, please. Um, you're Marcos, okay? Okay. Okay. Is there any store near your workplace, Nikki? Yes, there are some stores. Is there any bank near your company? No, there isn't any bank. Are there restaurants near your company, Bill? Yes, there are a lot of restaurants. Are there drugstores near your workplace? No, there aren't drugstores near my workplace. Thank you, Nikki. Okay, so look at this. So just let's check some words. Uh, we have store. So, and I need you to check the pronunciation for this uh, vocabulary. Store, store, near, store. Near, 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 some, 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 some any, any, M any, any. Okay, is there any bank? Is there a bank? Is there any, any bank? bank? Okay. Isn't, isn't. Isn't. Okay. Restaurants. 
Restaurant. 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 So let's check the word restaurant. Crystal. Crystal. Okay, so let me play that for you, okay? So hold on. So you can um listen that again and you can repeat uh, repeat it. Okay. So listen up in one second, okay. Restaurant. Listen. Restaurant. 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 Okay. Restaurant. 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 Okay. So you have you have here three ways, right? Restaurant. 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 Okay, so let's go back. Okay. Okay, restaurant. Um, building. Building. So that's the other building. one. Building. 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 Okay. No boy. Building. 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 Company. Company building, company building, a lot, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of restaurants, a lot of restaurants, a lot of restaurants. Are there drugstores, drugstores, okay, drugstores near your workplace? No, there aren't, no, there aren't. And be careful with this. There is and there are. Okay. There is, there are. There is, there are. Contraction form. There is. Okay. There's. No tenemos contracción ahí más positivo, but keep in mind that. There's. There's. And there aren't. Okay. There aren't. There aren't. There aren't. Drug stores near my workplace. There are in drug stores near my workplace. Again, let's do it again. Sarita, help me, please. You're Allison and let's see, Marvin, you're Marcos. Okay. Is there any store near your workplace? Yes, there are some store. Is there no. any bank near your company? No, there isn't any bank. Are there restaurants near your company building? Yes, there are a lot of restaurants. Are there drugstores near your workplace? No, there aren't. Drug store near my workplace. Okay, thank you. Let's see. I need two more volunteers. Um, how about you, Elsie? Elsie and Douglas? Okay. Ready. Okay. Is there any store near your workplace? Yes, there are some store. Is there a, any bank near your company? No, there isn't. Any bank are there restaurant near your company building? Building, 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 building. Yes, there are a lot of restaurants at the just near your good place. No, there aren't roaster near my workplace. Okay. Thank you. So now we're going to practice in the breaker rooms. So let's see. It was very good, guys. Thank you, Douglas and Elsie. Workplace. Workplace. Work. Workplace. Work. Work okay, one by one. Work. Workplace. Work. And this place. is place. Okay. Workplace. Workplace. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So now let's go and let's practice with at least. Let's see with uh, three people, okay? So let's go. Join the breakout rooms. Nos unimos a las salas, chicos, para practicar. I'm just going to give you five minutes, I think. Five, three to five minutes. Okay. 
Okay, so join the breakout rooms. Join the breakout rooms. I'm gonna send you the picture, okay? Thank you, Cindy, well done. Yes, they are so sure. Is there any bank New York company? No, there isn't any bank. Are there restaurant New York company building? Yes, there are a lot of restaurants at their restaurant New York com workplace. No. There are in those stores near my workplace. Bye. Por ahí creo. Tengo sueño. No está tan difícil. Algunas palabras. Algunas Hola. palabras sin pronunciarlas. Sí. ¿Did you finish? ¿Ya estuvo, chicos? No. 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 Yo pensé que habían terminado. Carlos no, no le carga la foto. Ahí está Carlos. Uh -huh. Carlos, hello, hello, Carlos. Hoy sí he estado totalmente desconectado. Me imagino. Alison, is there any store near yours? Workplace? Workplace? Okay. Uh, work. Okay. Okay. Yo hago, yo hago okay. el papel de Allison. Uh -huh. Y luego lo 
intercambiamos. Mm. Is bueno. there ¿Con quién primero usted? Veía usted el papel de, de Marcos, Sarita. Okay. Ah, bueno. Okay. Si gusta, empiezan ustedes dos y luego. ¿Qué doy? Is there sí, sí. any store oh. near, near, near your workplace? Yes, there are some stores. Is there any bank near you near your company? No, there is only bank at the restaurant near your company building. Yes, there are a lot of restaurants at their drugstore near your work workplace. No, there is drugstore near my, near my workplace. Okay, Marvin. Okay. Empiezo okay. con Alison entonces. Is there an is there any store near your workplace? Yes, there are some stores. Some stores. Is there any bank near your company? No, there isn't any bank. Are there restaurants? near your company building. Mm. Yes, there are a lot of restaurants. Are the drugstore near your workplace? No, there are a drugstore near my workplace. Okay. Sarita, hoy usted el papel de Alison. Okay. Perfect. Is there any store near your workplace? Marvin? Okay. Marcos? Uh, yes, there are some stores. Is there any bank near your company? No, there isn't. No, there isn't any bank. Are there restaurants near your company building? Yes, there are a lot. Uh, restaurant are, are there drugstore near your workplace? No, there aren't drugstore, drugstore near my workplace. Okay, ya vamos a seguir. Stores. <laughs> Stores. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Okay, so I have a surprise for you. <laughs> Another task. <laughs> okay, so look at this. Um, right now we're gonna check um the following activity. So in here you have to write a paragraph. So you have to complete this paragraph and you have to draw a map. Okay, so your work uh, talk about your workplace and draw a map. So example of the map, uh, let's see if I have one. No, I don't have any, okay. So I need you to complete this. Hi, my name is Areli. I live in San Salvador. I work for Regal. My workplace is located on, and you mentioned the name of the street. In my workplace, there are, you mentioned some things or building or, buildings or departments, you can mention anything, but there are no, in addition, there are a lot of, and you mention, uh, let's say, cafeterias, offices, besides that, you can find, uh, I don't know, you mention a photocopy center, you can find, um, let's say, a restaurant next to my workplace, I like my workplace because, so I need you to complete the, to complete this structure. Okay, so right now you're going to work individually and you're going to complete this information, okay? So, but you have to draw a map. So get a screenshot. Tómale una captura de esto. Vamos a completar ese párrafo. And then we're going to read it, okay? 
here you're going to mention the place, company's name, name of the street. Vamos a poner acá el nombre de la calle. Tienen que mencionar qué cosas podemos encontrar en su workplace. For example, in my workplace, there are offices, eh, or, or you can mention there are different departments. So pueden ponerlo, de, hay diferentes departamentos. There are different departments. For example, le pueden agregar ahí, for example, um, there is a marketing department and a human resources department. Pueden poner esas dos ideas. But there are no uh, accounting and finance department. Oh, but there are no accounting and finances departments. Okay. In addition, there are a lot of, you mentioned something else. Okay. Pueden mencionar también las cosas que están alrededor, no necesariamente dentro de la empresa, pero, for example, in addition, there are a lot of banks. Besides that, you can find a, a pollo campero outside. También pueden encontrar un pollo campero afuera. I like my workplace because les dan una razón por qué les gusta su trabajo. Ok, soy paja. <ríe> ok, so but you have to draw a map. Quiero que me dibujen un mapa también, donde ubiquen ahí, este, donde me muestren qué es lo que hay, ¿verdad? Para ver si, si es cierto. Acá lo que van a mencionar son buildings. Uh, buildings o pueden mencionar las secciones que hay dentro de la, lo, como los departamentos que hay dentro de la empresa o meramente edificios, edificios como oficina, I don't know, you, you can mention different stores o tiendas okay, que hay afuera o, o dentro de la empresa, no, cafeteria, photocopy center, so, well, you know, you know your workplace, ustedes conocen su trabajo, conocen qué, qué es lo que hay ahí. Okay, so start doing it. Start doing it. We have 10 minutes. Tenemos 10 minutos. Tenemos 10 minutos para esta actividad. And at the end, we're going to read just one or two. Al final, vamos a leer uno o dos y mañana leemos los dos. Okay, so but we have 10 minutes. Okay. Well, if you do it in five minutes, menos que lo hagamos en cinco minutos, so I think you can do it. Recuerden, aquí solamente van a complementar. So, okay, so start doing it. Start doing it. And I'm going to give you an example. ¿Ya tienen la captura? Sí. Ok. Entonces les voy a mostrar un ejemplo de un mapa. Para que hagan el dibujito. Because you're going to show that map. Porque van a mostrar ese dibujito de lo que hay cerca o alrededor de. Ok. So look at this. Por ejemplo, tenemos este mapa para que indiquen las calles, ¿verdad? Main Street, First Street, the Second Central Avenue, algo así, algo así pueden hacer, ¿ok? Or you have another example, también aquí está otro ejemplo. Um, or you can start doing something like this. Hi, my name is Arely. I work um, for the gas station for Texaco, for example. It is located on, let's see, Orchard Road. Está ubicado en la calle Orchard or Martin Street. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, there is a computer store opposite the gas station. Um, next to the gas station, there is a pet shop. Pueden ir utilizando también otras preposiciones que vimos, okay? For example, next to, between, opposite, in front of. Okay, so here you have the, this one. I'll les muestro este que tiene colorcito. Okay, preguntas, preguntas chicos de la actividad. Sarita, Sara, Yolanda, eh, Elsie, Marvin, Fatima, Cindy, Douglas, questions? Let me know. Hay que hacer el dibujo y mandar a hacerlo. Ajá, hacen el dibujo y también esta parte del párrafo. Ok, esta parte. Okay. El, el dibujo es para ubicar lo, lo, lo que van a mencionar acá, para ubicar todo lo que van a mencionar acá. Es que me envíen. Ok. Esa pues la al... puede enviar al grupo. Sí, se la voy a enviar al grupo. Ya le envió. 
Alex. Alex. Vamos a ver. Alex envió. Pues, Vamos a enviar una que sea un poquito más centrado. Está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Al grupo de, de chat de ahí no le enviado. ¿De WhatsApp? No, al de chat de ahí. ¿De Zoom? De la... En el de todos. Sí, ahí está. En el de Zoom. Uh -huh. Se los voy a enviar aquí también. Y vamos a ver, se lo voy a enviar, le voy a enviar el mapa también. Ok, ahí va el mapa también y ya les mando el mapa al chat. Recuerden que no tienen que traducir los nombres de las calles, ¿ok? So let me know if you have questions. Es si tienen preguntas, chicos. Aquí estoy o le escriben por el chat.
Okay, ¿Cómo vamos, chicos? Carlos, Elsie, Fran. Miss. Aún me falta. No, me falta. Pues mi también. Todavía tenemos. Miss. Donde dice. Bien. In my workplace, there are. Ahí ah, que. Aquí. There are. Ajá, ¿Sí? acá donde van esos tres puntos, vamos a ubicar qué es lo que podemos encontrar en su workplace, en su trabajo. Por ejemplo, puede mencionar este, los diferentes departamentos que hay en el de, ahí. There are uh, different departments. Lo vamos a poner por acá. O puede mencionar qué, qué edificios o qué oficinas podemos encontrar ahí. Pero antes de eso tenemos que poner There are different departments. El primero es el nombre, ¿va? Ajá, el primero es el nombre. For example. Y aquí pueden mencionar este, lo, los departamentos. Pueden ser los que veíamos al inicio de la unidad 2, me parece. Y For donde example. dice, but there are no in addition. But there are no. Ah, but there are no. Ajá, aquí. Por ejemplo, hay... Diferentes departamentos, por ejemplo, Human Resources, eh, Accounting and Finance, and Finance, y aquí un pero, but, there is no, ok, there are no, y aquí para mencionar qué es lo que no hay, but there are no, Ajá, algo que no, que no hay ahí. Entonces aquí va a ser un contraste de ideas. But there are no cafeterías, por ejemplo. Cafeterías. No hay cafeterías. Después seguimos, además, ese in addition significa además, además. Hay muchos. Ya podemos mencionar qué es lo que hay cerca, ¿verdad? There are a lot of banks around. Si, si lo que van a poner ahí no compagina con lo que, si lo quieren hacer singular, cambien ahí la estructura. En my workplace, there is. Solamente le cambian. Se van a poner solamente una cosa. Se van a poner más, ubican there are. No pueden modificar. There are a lot of, eh, in addition, there are a lot of, eh, let's say, pet stories, for example. Pet stories. Teacher. Ajá, uh -huh, hello. I have a question. Bookstores. Sorry, my interest is so bad. But the map is from the work. Yes. Uh -huh. So you can, you're going to draw the map and then you have to place the your workplace and the thing yeah. and the buildings that are around your workplace. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. So it's something like this. Let me see. Okay, something like this. So let's let's pretend that this is your map. For example, you work at a school. So you're going to draw um, something like this. Uh -huh. You draw the streets, then you draw the buildings around, post office, drugstore, movie theater, bank. Tienen que dibujar, tienen que ubicar ahí. Es el, lo, que, lo que hay alrededor, okay? Okay, so let's go back. Then I lost my paragraph. Ok, let's see. Ya perdí el párrafo. Ok, mira, yo estoy. Anarely. I live in San Salvador. Okay. I work for. Let me check. I don't know where it's. address. In work for English Corporativo, where workplace is located on. So let me find out. Déjeme averiguar cómo es el nombre de la calle. I don't know. <laughs> I can't just find that. So you have to Google it. Si no conocen el nombre de la calle, busquen en Google Maps. Okay.
tenemos que poner la calle donde está enfrente del empleo. Ajá, ¿tien? en la calle donde está el ubicado. El... Ah. Uh -huh. Let me check. The name of the street is... Ahí el mirador, ok. Ah, ok. Está ubicada entre una calle y una avenida. 93 Avenue, North Avenue. On... Está bien cerquita de donde yo estoy. 93. Ajá. North Avenue. También hay cursos presenciales. Mm -hmm. Bueno, sí. ¿En cuál trabaja usted? No, no. Este... 93. Yo en la 85. 85. Usted está más arriba que donde yo quiero ver como a dos cuadras. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahí por, por la Torre Futura. Está. Ah, sí. Usted. Uh -huh. Ya me he perdido, ya está. <ríe> ok. 93 North Avenue. Um, en, en, mira, North Street. Okay, yo puse ahí la avenida porque es exactamente donde está ubicado. You can uh, add the name of the street. Pero se pueden poner nada más el nombre. El nombre de la calle. A menos que sea una avenida. Okay. Lo puedo ver allá. 93 North Avenue. Avenue. In my workplace. Let me see the map. Okay. In my workplace. There are. Tienes cuidado. El lado Sarita es. <ríe> ok. Sorry. Ay, que aquí dice que hay un helado Sarita en el mirador. <ríe> Creo que está más arriba. Ok. Um, my workplace. There are three departments, for example. I'm finished. Le mando la captura. I'm writing the program. Ok. Esto es parte de la respuesta de la primera. In my workplace, there are. But, there are no. Miss, Miss mando la captura al grupo. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah, that's ok. Cafeteria. Okay. In addition, there are a lot of. Stores. Hay muchas tiendas, por ejemplo. Ustedes pueden ser más específicos. Pueden ir modificando esto. Entonces, acá no, no lo estoy amarrando a que lo ubiquen así. Pueden cambiar. There is, there, there are no, there is no. In addition, there is a, a bank. There is an agricola bank. There is a, a city bank. Ya creo que no existe. There is a the vivienda bank. O there is a... Uh, there are some stores, o hay algunas tiendas, for example, y pueden poner los ejemplos. For example, uh, you mentioned Sara's. <laughs> uh, besides that, además de eso, you can find a nice restaurant, for example. A nice restaurant. Be called... And you mentioned the name. I like my workplace because I can. Cuando yo trabajo solo hay zapatería, joyería, eso tengo, tengo que poner. Ajá, correcto. There are a lot of uh, shoe stores. You can find everything nearby. Okay. Me gusta mi trabajo porque puedo encontrar todo cerca. 
we can find everything nearby. Um, shoe store, tienda, shoe stores, tienda de zapatos, shoe stores. Y ahí puedo poner los ejemplos. Por ejemplo, menciona algunas tiendas. Uh, nah, okay, this one. I don't know, you mentioned the names. Y puedo poner algunos nombres. Shoe stores in jewelry stores. Uh -huh. sí, ese es para los, los zapatos. Y tenemos um, jewelry. Yeah, this way. A la joyería. Uh -huh. Jewelry. Sports. Tiendas, ajá, tiendas de joyas, tiendas de joyas y tiendas de zapatos. Ok, so we're gonna stop um, right now. Bueno, por el tiempo, complétenlo. El día de mañana lo vamos a compartir con los compañeros. Y recuerden que ya pueden acceder a la tarea número... 17, ¿verdad? Creo que 17. En el día, Esa está en la plataforma, perdón. Esa está en la plataforma. Y, um, permítanme, le voy a compartir aquí el número de la actividad. Es, y vamos, 14, y esto ya lo pasamos. Ok, por acá. También ya lo pasamos. Ok, vamos a la tarea número. Y por acá. Ok, 17. Esta, tarea 17. Ok, acaban eligiendo there is or there are. So that's all. Super easy. You have five questions, five sentences. Homework 17. Ok. Pues nada más, eso nos haría falta. And just give me one second. I'm going to pass the attendance list. Me avisan si tienen dificultades con la plataforma o con alguna actividad que se hayan atrasado. Avísenme, porque terminamos, esa plataforma se cerraría, pero ya estamos próximos a cerrarla. Y también debemos de, de tenerla completada, por lo menos con el 80, el 85%. Para que pueda, ajá, dígame. Hola. Eh, nosotros terminamos el día viernes las actividades. Entonces, abiertas las la plataforma parece que les quedaría abierta un poquito más de tiempo, pero este por, mañana y ajá, tenemos que entregar este, sí, entonces tenemos mañana y jueves. Tenemos por lo menos que entregar el reporte el día sábado. El día sábado de, de, de todo, de, de asistencia y de, y de evaluaciones. Entonces ahí pueden ponerse a trabajar en un espacio. Avísenme si tienen preguntas para que les vayamos apoyando. Ok. Que si ya, ya quedamos sin tiempo prácticamente. Vamos a ver, eh, me ayudan aquí con la asistencia, chicos. Carlos Enrique Guerrero Hernández. Present. Thank you. Cindy Lisbeth Méndez. Present. Thank you. Douglas Alfonso Alvarenga. Present. Thank you. Elsie Yanira Ramírez. Present. Thank you, Elsie. Fátima de Jesús Gómez. Thank you. Francisco Antonio Acuña Ramírez. 
Francisco Antonio Let's Acuña. See. Thank you, Francisco. Gabriela Michelle Amaya Guzmán. Iliana Guadalupe Jerónimo Morales. Present. Thank you, Iliana. Juan Eduardo Flores. Marvin Alexander Pérez. Present. Thank you, Eduardo. Present. Nikki Daniel Acosta. Present. Thank you, Nikki. Oscar Daniel Castillo. Benny Linares Melgar. Sara Gisela Peña. Present. Thank you. Sarita Elizabeth Hueso. Present. Thank you, Sarita. Yolanda Gabriela Fan Hernández. Present. Okay, thank you, guys. So that's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow. So have a good night. See you tomorrow, guys. So don't miss the classes. No pierdan una clase, ya casi terminamos. Okay, so see you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you Bye. tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you, Carla. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you.